Hey, what's up, cats and chicks out there? You know it is, D-Man the Greaser. And today, I'm going to show you how to fill a butane lighter. So, stay with me. Alrighty, so, you know, on my channel right now, I've uh, been kind of going over, like, the cigar, like, some cigar tips, tutorials. Uh, I'm going to do more vlogs pretty soon. Uh, there's actually going to be a Rockabilly, Psychabilly show that's coming up in two weeks from now. And it was actually my good buddy from uh, Wally from, from the Res Tones. He kind of told me about it because he lives in my area. And if you haven't go check out the Res Tones, go check them out. They're actually they're a really good band. And yeah, go check go check the Res Tones out. So yeah, you know, I'm kind of, you know I'm still kind of doing more of like the cigar tutorials, like cigar cigar videos, guitar videos, vlogs, whatever. So yeah. That's kind of what's going on with the channel right now, as you guys know. So, I was kind of thinking about some ideas to do a video, and um, I was going to light my cigars, or, you know, I was lighting my cigar today, you know, I had a cigar, like, this earlier this afternoon. <clears throat> and I kind of noticed on my butane lighter, if you guys can't see it, it's almost, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But it is essentially empty. Yeah, there's a little bit of butane left, but not enough to actually keep it away. Yeah, it'll light for a little bit, see. It'll just die out just because it needs to be refilled. And in all honesty, I did I did empty it just a little bit just for this video, so but not to worry, I do have a full can. I just bought a full can of butane fluid, so we're all good and covered. Anyway, so I was kind of going on YouTube, like, you know, I was kind of noticing my cigar lighter was, or one of my cigar lighters, and many of them, you know, they, they always run out every now and then, and I just thought about doing a video, since I'm doing more cigar tutorials and all that, I imagine that, a greaser channel doing some cigar reviews, and, yeah. And I kind of just noticed, like, on my channel, I, I really need, I, I noticed on my channel, I, I done a cigar. I did the how to smoke properly, light, light and smoke cigar. Ooh, excuse me. But I didn't do a how to refill your butane lighter because you're gonna definitely need to do that when when you smoke cigars. If you use butane, you know you can use matches. And some people use like Zippos. I personally don't recommend the Zippos or regular cigarette lighters to light your cigar. Uh, you can use matches. You know that's fine. It just takes a lot of time to light them. You know, I've said it before in my last video. You can use you can use matches if you like, but the matches, in my personal opinion, just take take longer to light. And you know, honestly, like people people nowadays, you know, they 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 like to rush into things. I certainly like to rush into things too. So yeah, but that's okay. You know, you can light however you want to light your cigar. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, you can use like I've seen people on YouTube or whatever. Use like um, use like like a like a flame flame lit stove. I've seen people light them through like a campfire or just like a little fire or so. But yeah, but you know, typically people just use butane. Anyway, that's besides the point. So I was kind of going on YouTube, and this is about six months before you know. So well, before okay, tell you guys the truth. Like the first time I actually knew how to like refill or fill up a butane lighter was two months ago, two or three months ago. And that's actually pretty embarrassing because I was like, you know, because I've been trying to learn and, you know, try to do it, but I thought I was not doing it correctly, which I finally figured out how to do it <laughs> after like two months ago. So yeah, so I felt pretty accomplished with that. But yeah, like before, before I did, before, before that, you know, I like whenever I was out of like butane, I was like, well, that's it for my lighter because I don't know how to refill it. I'd either a get someone to like refill it for me, or b I would go like literally go spend money and get get another butane lighter, which was a dumb idea though too, by the way. And you know, I finally figured out how to light, like how to properly fill it, and yeah. And now, like, I, I looked on, like, a bunch of YouTube videos as well, though, too, how to properly, like, fill them up. You know, they have, there's a lot of good videos out there. But, you know, I've also noticed a lot of, like, cigar videos, you know. I'm not, I mean, there's a good amount of cigar videos where it's just, like, just normal dudes, you know. They're just, like, your average, like, average dude, normal guys, you know. You know, just, like, they just smoke them out of, out of enjoyment instead of luxury. 
And there's also cigar videos where it's just like purely guys who just do it out of luxury, you know? They have like the three-piece suits. They're always in London, London or UK or some shit, some fancy ass shit, or New York City. And you know, they're always wearing like three-piece suit, a soft hat, whatever. You know, they're just not like normal, they're not normal looking dudes, you know? They're not like your average guy, you know, like wearing just a typical t-shirt, jeans, and you know, just, you know, just like, just, just a normal dude. And you know, I can I can always like mention some a few good like cigar cigar channels and one of them is actually Cigars Daily, which is a cigar shop up in Phoenix I've been to. I've been following the guy who owns it for, for about actually longer than since longer than he's on this on this shop. And yeah, go check out Cigars Daily, you won't you won't be disappointed. Um, I may do a video like next time I go to Phoenix I may I may do a video up there, so just gotta be on the lookout for that. But, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, there's not so much on, like, how to refill a cigar lighter. Uh, you know, there's definitely a lot of videos that didn't do it, but, you know, I, a lot of them kind of make it a, like, very difficult way, a little bit, you know, they, they, like, yeah, anyway. So let's get into to the video of how to refill your cigar lighter, and, yeah, so stick around or be a square. All right, guys. Uh, here's a simple setup that you need for uh, just for any essentials of refilling your butane lighter. First, you need your butane lighter, obviously. Second, you need your can of butane, and you can you can get these almost about anywhere. You can get these like a you could get just a simple can of butane. You know, you can get them like I know you can purchase them at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, now, a lot of your hardware stores, Ace, all that, sh all that stuff. You know, you can get them at like your camping stores. Um, you know, your out, your outdoors, like stores that like are outdoorsy, like you know Cabela's, uh, REI, or whatever. But a lot of those are pretty expensive. Or you can get them at your local smoke shop or cigar lounge. And usually a can of butane. You know, depends, depends what brand you get. You know, it doesn't matter what brand. You know, just yeah. I mean, there's there's brands that do vary, but you know, I think like all butane is about the same. Uh, but you know, you can get a simple can of butane like like this right here. You, you can get about you could you could buy these for about like like two, three, four dollars, like at your like like local WalMarts or hardware stores, whatever. You can get these pretty cheap, so don't worry about the whole cost. And third third thing and certainly not least, you can use a and use something like a paper clip or um, yeah I'll, I'll get into the paper clip in a little bit so uh, I like to use a paper clip just for this one thing and I'm gonna show you guys in a sec but yeah you can use a paper clip mechan like a tip of mechanical pencil or like one of those like one of those like big um, one of those big pens you know the ones with the cap you know classic like pretty much what a lot of businesses have or you know schools have whatever you, you know what I'm talking about they're like the little cheap pens that you can get get with the cap on there and yeah and I'll show you what you guys need this for alrighty you know let me try to zoom in on this real quick here you go here you go here this is much better try to get this out of the way so first things first all right, so as you can see on on my lighter here, uh, don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's still a little butane left, and you, I highly recommend not refilling it while you like while there's a little butane left, just because it's old and you know you kind of want fresh butane, and a lot of it when like a lot of butane that's already in, you know, most of it's already just air and it's not going to properly work. So what you really want to do is so you get your paper, little paper clip that you know you can use like a paper clip, um, maybe like a little tip of a pen, something like this. Like you know you can get a pen. Uh, I recommend getting like one of those like little big pens, you know, with the little caps or, or whatever. Or you get a mechanical pencil. Either one's fine. Or get a nail. And basically what you're gonna do, the, there's gonna be a hole right in here. All right. And it's gonna be on all of your butane lighters. Here, let me try to tighten this. Just kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Hopefully, this you, this will have it. 
Uh, I don't know, the camera will pick it up. Anyway, so like, the little hole that you're gonna find in your, uh, in your, in your, like, butane lighters, you're gonna find, a, like, a little valve. And really what you wanna do is grab, you grab your paper clip or a little object that, that you're gonna, that you're gonna press it on. Like that, or that could fit in there. So all you're gonna do is gonna kind of press on the valve, and you want to add a little bit of pressure on there. Sometimes it'll work. And yeah, you just like want to put put a lot of pressure on there, and all your all essentially what you're doing is getting a lot of that air and old butane out of there. And it's just yeah, essentially it's just like it's just getting that. A lot of that, like butane, butane and air out of there, and yeah. So once you once you don't hear any air coming out, then it's completely full. And I may I may need a bigger paper clip for this, but oh well, it'll be fine. Well, I, I have I have other paper clips right here. Maybe that'll work. Who knows? I may have to get a bigger bigger paper clip. You know, paper clips may not have to work. You, again, you can use like. Use like a little pen. You don't have to use a paper clip. Just you can use like a little pen, like one of those like, like a pen tip from like one of those like big pens, whatever. Um, you, know, you can use you can use mechanical pencils. Either one's fine. I like to use a paper clip from time to time. It's just because it's easier and yeah, you don't have to worry about breaking breaking your pen or pencil. And, yeah. So yeah, all you again, all you're doing is. Pressing, pressing on that little valve or so right inside the lighter and you just put a little pressure on there until you hear no air if you hear once you hear no air it's essentially it's essentially empty and right now it's all empty all right so yeah anyway next thing is you're gonna take your can take your can of butane pop your pop your lid open all right and it's gonna be the tip is gonna be the shape of shape of your valve. And what you're gonna do is, yeah, I don't know if the camera will pick it up here. Let me go adjust it a little bit. Here you go. So all you do, I recommend shaking it first, because essentially butane butane is not like Zippo, where you know when you fill up a Zippo lighter, you could just squeeze it into the thing. But you know. It's, can of butane is basically a lot of this spray stuff on there. And it's perfectly natural though too. It's perfectly fine. You'll be fine with it. It's pretty healthy or so. Well, don't eat it obviously, but yeah. It's like what you really want to do. I just I say just shake it a little bit because there because you you know you don't want to you don't want to get mostly air inside your lighter. And basically what you want to do is uh, when you're when you're about to light it, or, or light it, once you're filling it, you kind of like want to have it like upside down, and make sure that your your you can you know if your your butane lighter has a cap, like where you can actually take the cap off of there, like I just did. Uh, go for it; it'll make things a lot easier. But but usually when you have your butane lighter, um, you want to like have have it like directly upside down of it. Both, both your lighter and your can of butane and basically you just want to like flip it like directly upside down and add a little bit of pressure to it and if stuff gets if, if it squirts on you it you know don't don't get too worried about it you'll be fine it may get a little bit chilly just to let you know but you know it, it won't hurt you but yeah so you really want to like have it like upside down and you want to add a little bit of pressure. Hopefully this works. I may have to get another can of butane. I don't know if this will fit. Yeah, make sure your can of butane will fit. And, oh god. I don't think I have the good good stuff, but it'll be fine. Maybe it'll work. Hold on. I may have to just loosen it a little bit. Yeah, make sure. Yeah, make sure when you're like filling filling your. I may, I have another can in my room somewhere. I may just go run and get it instead. But really, um, what you want to do is like add a little bit of pressure. Not so much pressure. Just... Yeah, that's cool. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go grab my other can of butane. It'll work a lot better. I know I'm using the slot to wipe some stuff off. Yeah, I'm, I mean, just just make sure you have like have a good can. You know, this is eh. it. Yeah, it does. Just make sure your can actually can fit a little bit. It just yeah. Then again, I'm kind of looking at the camera a little bit, so. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend Neon just a little bit. I, I bought it just for the video's sake, to see if it works. So. Yeah, it looks like it, it's not a good product. Well, then maybe. Yeah, it's not working. It's... I'm gonna I'm gonna go run and grab another can of butane real quick, so I'm gonna pause the video and just for a sec. Alright guys, I'm back with another can of butane. Uh, yeah, I think just the yellow one just doesn't work with it at all. So yeah. You 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 try you try other cans and you know some work, some don't, you know, just depends what you're gonna get. Uh, this can I actually have no problems with. It's called Vector. It's, it's a Vector, so you know if you guys can find it, you usually you can find it maybe at your local smoke shops or so. May you may have to order it, but yeah. Anyway, as I was saying before, you just again you know had had both the torch and the fluid directly upside down of one another, and yep, it's perfectly working out. Wow, that that's funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, all you're gonna do is like you're gonna add a little bit of pressure to use your can, add a little bit of pressure, not so much, just add a little little bit of pressure, you know, and you know, count to three or four seconds because you don't want to overfill it. And if you add a little too much pressure for a certain amount of period, you know, some some will get on you and your your hand will get cold. Trust me on that. So yeah, just. Count to two seconds or three, three or two, four, four is fine. And yeah, it's starting to fill up pretty nicely. And here we go. It really doesn't take that long to fill it. Just like depends on what, what you're using. So yeah, so I don't know if the camera will pick it up or the lighting here. I'm gonna change out the lighting settings. Here we go. It's one. Yep, see, as you see it's you can see a little bit of liquid in there, and that just means it's full. You know, it may may take you a couple tries to um, to refill it. You know, again, just get a, get a good can. And to be honest, I don't recommend the neon. I just bought it just because I needed some butane in, in a pinch. Because this can this can's almost out of it, and you know, I don't want to be hopeless with without a can of butane because I do like have having a good can of butane but yeah I think these are just good for like your like your really big flame torches you know um, maybe not for your cigar cigar torches maybe um, I don't recommend neon but you know vec the vector ones I, I actually have pretty good experience with vectors so again you know butane doesn't really cost that much you know you can get pretty good butane for about four or five bucks maybe maybe six bucks I think whatever the economy is like right now so yeah so yeah uh, this will this is just trial and error just keep on trying to do it again just you know when when you're about when you're about empty on your butane butane lighters still just get your, your paper clip or pen or pencil whatever like just stick it in the valve uh, just make sure there's no no more air in there you can you, like if it makes like once you stop hearing the tss sound, it's basically it's basically all empty. And yeah, all you do is turn it, turn your cigar, or turn your butane lighter upside down. Same with your um, can can of butane. Then you just press it on, press it on for a couple seconds. It'll fill pretty quick. Oh, and I will shake it up first. Just why not? Yeah. Anyway, I hope you learned something off of this. If you don't, if you didn't, well, there's other there's other better videos out there. Um, you know, let me know in the comments how you fill up your cigar lighters. I think a lot of people do the same way. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see off of me. You know, you know, 
let me know if you want to see any good cigar reviews, any guitar videos, vlogs, all that. Just leave in the comments what you want to see on my channel. And I'll try to try do my best to reach out to you guys and do that kind of video and set it all up. Um, yeah. So if you don't know, like, like, subscribe, comment, favorite, share, all that crap, crap to my channel. Uh, always comment. I like to see all of y'all's comments. But if you're gonna guys leave hate comments, you know, I'm just gonna ignore you and you know, it's you know, a lot of the hate comments or whatever comments that just just because people don't like me, you know, it really doesn't affect me at all. I, I really could care less. But you know, I do, I do like a lot of y'all's comments. A lot of your, a lot of y'all's comments are, I, are very encouraging, and I do, I do appreciate them. Here, I'm gonna turn up the camera just so you can see my beautiful face. Anyway, yeah, just you know, you can leave in, the, leave in the comments what you want to see. Uh, I do appreciate a lot of your, a lot of y'all's comments. It really kind of encourages me to do more of my videos. Uh, again, I'm still trying to figure out how to do the whole, like, um, t-shirt designs, you know, just trying to figure out how to do them. I may just, well, I have, I have all the stuff on Canva, but for some reason Canva's not working, the format of Canva doesn't work with, like, Redbubble or Teespring, so I may just do, like, the, may, may do Adobe's, and, yeah, who knows. Again, leave in the comments, like, for good, like, t-shirt design places where I can set that up and all that crap. Um, yeah, so leave comments, whatever, all that shit. Um, you know, hopefully again you learn something new. You know, you know what they say, you learn something new every day. If you did on this channel, <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> anyway, uh, again, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, favorite, download, all that crap on my channel, you know, really supports supports me. Uh, I really enjoy doing these videos, and you know, again, you know, the last thing I want to do is watch my my own videos because, yeah, I don't want to hear myself. I mean, like, I can, I think I can speak for all YouTubers or so. Not a lot of YouTubers or people want to watch your own content. Just to be honest with you, all. Uh, I leave it for you guys just to learn something, and you know, just this is about life in general. And yeah. um, again, you know, if you guys subscribe to me, that help me out tre tremendously. And I can't thank you enough for all those who subscribe and put me up for, throughout the years. <laughs> and yeah. So and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. I, I rarely use it, so Instagram is going to be your best friend. You can you can follow me on TikTok if you guys use it. Uh, I I do I have a lot more I have a lot of good content on TikTok a lot of funny stuff stuff that'll probably piss you off or you know it's about kind of pissing other people off which people seem to like that too uh, yeah so you can go follow on those and yeah that's all I have to say remember stay positive stay strong stay healthy and have some fun have a good cigar and yeah. And I'll see you on the next one. Dig it. Again, leave a comment. What do you want to see on my YouTube channel? You got it. You got it. Woo. Oh, yeah.